Hey guys, Solar here from Organ Animal Keeping. Have you ever wanted to have an aquarium but you thought you didn't have enough time or money to create and keep one by yourself? In this video, I'll show you how you could easily make a beautiful aquarium that takes care of itself and there is no need for advanced components. All the material that I've used here are widely available. Furthermore, this kind of aquarium enables you to have a mini farm right at your own house where you can grow your own organic produce without any special care. Just let the system run and it will sustain itself. I have made this aquarium based on the aquaponics principle which is providing the same process of water purification that occurs in all natural freshwater ecosystems. This method is a quick and efficient way of growing fish and plants together in a mutually beneficial cycle. If you don't know what aquaponic is, go to my video right here. I have completely explained the concept and everything else there is to know about it. I'm sure you're going to find aquaponics interesting. Check the link in the description. Now, I'm going to show you step by step how to make a functional home aquaponics system. Watch until the fifth minute of this video to find out about the necessary steps of making this system by yourself. After the fifth minute, I'll introduce more optional material that you could use to advance your home aquaponics system. So guys, let's get started. My pineapple green chick conier is going to guide us through the material needed in order to make a working aquaponic system. Let's start with the most important one, that is a water pump and some tubing to channel the water to our grow bed. Preferably choose a water pump that has a built-in sponge filter. I'm gonna open it so you guys can clearly see what's inside. It's a sponge filter that's very durable and will filter out any solid particles from the water. If your pump does not have an internal filter, that's fine, it could do the job as well. Next is a tubing that's going to be connected to the water pump and allow the water to flow from our tank to the grow bed. You can buy this kind of container in any aquarium store. It's actually called the top filter and it's very suitable to turn into a grow bed. You can basically use any container of your choice for this as long as you can provide an input and output flow of water. Just make sure your container does not hold any water. Over here I've cut the plastic to even out the bottom and made holes on the barrier not to let it hold back any water. This is an important step to avoid your plant roots from rotting. If you don't have a top filter like mine, you could use a plastic pot for this purpose. It makes a good grow bed as it has a flat bottom and ready-made holes on it that will be used as the output flow of water. For the output flow of this grow bed, I'm going to use a bell siphon to allow the container to drain every time it gets filled up with water. In this way, your plant roots won't stay submerged in water as they need air to survive. You could just buy a bell siphon or easily make one with pipes. I'm going to put the instruction link in the description. Moving on to our grow bed media, I'm using crushed lava rocks as the substrate. You could also use aqua clay for this purpose, but lava rocks do the same and are much cheaper. These crushed lava rocks are porous material that allow beneficial bacteria to house in, and they maintain the aquarium water quality. Let's go to the room to assemble the necessary components on the fish tank. And let me show you guys my Electus that's hopefully going to enjoy watching the fish and plants in her room. Time to fill up our grow bed. Crushed lava rocks provide suitable material for plant roots to hold on to. I just added some ceramic rings which are great biofilter but you don't have to because the lava rocks are good enough. So this is going to be where our plants grow out of. 
I'm gonna place it on top of the fish tank. And of course, we're gonna use a ball siphon on the output to allow the container to constantly flood and drain. I'm setting up the tubing to enable the water to flow from the fish tank to the grow bed. And lastly, place your water pump in the tank. There you go guys, we have completed all the steps in order to have a functional home aquaponic system. You can now fill your tank with water and turn on your pump. Plant the seed of your choice in your robot media and in about a week you shall see the seeds turn into plants. You could set up a water heater if you live in a cold country. Using an aerator will benefit your fish and plants. I'm using these rocks and driftwood to aquascape the tank. And there is this powder that can do magic because it's a mixture of five top selling products to stabilize aquarium environment, to promote the growth of roots, and to add microorganisms that stabilize aquatic systems. You don't have to necessarily use this powder but if you do it's great anyways if you want to have a planted tank you're gonna need some soil i'm gonna put conier back and go get some you could buy aqua soil for the bottom of your aquarium they are the most convenient i have chosen to get organic soil this time because it's cheaper and will serve the same purpose as aqua soil this way you can easily recreate a natural environment in your aquarium where aquatic plants grow rapidly just make sure you don't buy chemically fertilized soil because that will kill your fish. Look for soil that is 100% organic. Just put it in my cup. Yeah. So back in the room, I'm going to install the water heater. Connect the air stone to the tube and set up the air pump. This will oxygenate your water. Now if you want to have a planted tank, you're going to have to throw in some soil. It provides great substrate for aqua plants to grow on. I'm putting some of that enhancing powder below the soil. But as I said before, you don't have to do that. Did you guys know that the soil on the bottom of your aquarium also acts as a biofilter? because the microorganisms that grow on it break down any organic matter so your fish droppings won't ever pollute the floor of your aquarium I'm adding a pipe to control the direction of the water flow now it's time to aquascape and fill the tank with water If you have any sort of soil in your tank, the first time that you fill it up with water, it's going to turn murky and build up nitrite levels. At this point, you don't want to turn your filter on or add any fish. The correct procedure is to wait a day and do a one-time water change. <laughs>
some aqua plants to provide a better living condition for our fish. I am picking some plants from my two older aquaponic systems. There you go guys, if you followed all the steps in this video, you now have got yourself a self-sustaining planted tank equipped with a mini aquaponic farm. So let the farm begin. Come here. Because you can now safely add the fish to your system. The last step is to plant the seed of your choice. I found some old garlic that have rooted so I'm going to plant them in the grow bed and come back in a week to check out the result.
As you see, the seeds have turned to sprouts. Given enough lighting, your plants will survive for a long time. It's a sustainable environment to grow many kinds of fruits and vegetables. Check out my video's description to find out the list of fruits that thrive on aquaponics. Thanks to the microorganisms that live in these crushed lava rocks, we were able to convert fish waste into rich plant food that could be absorbed by the roots and be used to grow rapidly. That's it for this video guys, I hope you learned something new and enjoyed the content. For now I'll leave you with extra footage of my Electus. See you all in the next video.